students, we are on to Dr. OJ's tutorial class once again. In this video, we shall discuss the derivative of trigonometric function. The derivative function we are going to discuss uh, here now is uh, sine. Sine. We want to find the differentiate differentiation of uh, of y is equal to sine x from the first principle. We want to differentiate. Uh, y is equal to sine x from the first principle. How do we go about that? As usual, we have to y, we have to x, okay? y plus delta y is equal to sine x plus delta x. Okay, by the time we do that, we now make the delta y solve the formula, so that becomes what? Delta y be sine into x plus change in x, then y comes here minus y. Okay, which is something as that change in y is equal to sine into x plus uh, change in x minus what is our y sine x. So on the right hand side now we're having sine x plus change in x minus sine x. So recall this looks like a addition angle formula. Recall sine a minus sine b. If you recall very well, it's the same thing as uh, 2 cos a plus b all over 2 sine a minus b all over 2. Yes. If you remember very well, in the previous class you have had on that trigonometry. Okay. So with that now, with that now, we can do some substitution. You know what we have here now? Before it was clean, is so we have change in y is equal to sine x plus delta x or change in x minus uh, sine x. So now, if you look at you can compare this with this. We are originally we use minus, that's why we are looking for sine a minus sine b. You know, the addition version of it is different. If it's an addition version, if you are sine a plus sine b, it will be 2 sine a plus b over 2 cos a minus b over 2. It should be inverse of that. Okay, now, how do we go about it? That implies that comparing this, this right hand side with this one, we see that this is a and this is b. If you compare them, you compare this with this. So that implies that applying that now, what they are, they are changing y is equals to 2 cos x plus changing x plus because a plus b uh, b is x all over 2 sine a minus our a is t x plus x plus changing x minus minus our uh, b is x here okay all over 2 please take try to understand comparing this with this a will be this b will be sin x it will be x so you now plug in using substitution, you get this. So this will be what? 2 cos x plus x is 2x. 2x plus change in x all over 2. Then sine x minus x. That's that. You have what? Change in x all over 2 left. So this one will be what? 2 cos 2x all over 2 plus changing x all over 2. Yes, if you split it, sine change in x all over 2. Okay, so which means, which means that, which means that now changing y will now be 2 cos, you know, 2x over 2, that's x plus. Change in x all over 2. Sign. Change in x all over 2. Yes. So, now, let's divide through by change in x. Change in y over change in x. As usual, will be 2 cos into bracket x plus uh, change in x all over 2. Sign. Change in x all over 2. Everything over change in x. Yes. Now, there's a way of Making this sign change in x over 2 having a similar value. So if you divide by these two now, these two we come here. 
Yes, divide everything by two here on the right hand side. So now have changing y all over changing x is equals to cos into x plus changing x all over two sine changing x all over two the everything all over changing x all over two. These two now has come down. Yes. Why did we go that way? Because there is something that is very interesting about limits. The limit of sine x over x is 1. Recall, limit of sine x over x is 1. So also, limit, that is as s tends to 0 anyway, limit uh, as a uh, sine, limit of uh, sine changing x all over 2, all over changing x all over 2, as changing x all over 2, or you can say changing x tends to 0 is also 1. You can see if you say sine x over x is 1, if x tends to 0. So if you are, you are replacing changing x over 2 by x, it means sine changing x over 2 all over x again, it will be 1. So that means here we have, therefore, changing y all over changing x will be cos into x plus changing x all over 2 times 1. Yes, times 1. That is what it means. Okay? So that implies that the whole of it is now what? Changing y all over changing x is equal to cos into x plus changing x all over 2. Now, take, taking limit of limit as changing x tends to 0 now of this, of cos x plus delta x or changing x all over 2. It means what? dy dx will be cos into x plus this is zero now because you said changing x should not be zero zero over two is zero so therefore dy dx is equals to cos x so that is the differentiation of uh, sine x from the first principle so with this we have come to the end of uh, uh, differentiation of sine x from the first uh, principle don't forget to click on the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you'll be duly notified. Stay blessed and God bless you.